In this video, we present Ordino, a browser-based visual data analysis tool to flexibly rank, filter, and explore genes, cell lines, tissue samples, and further entities. The analysis workflow in Ordino consists of three major steps. As the first step, the analyst can select or define a list of genes, cell lines, or tissue samples. In step two, the entities can be ranked, filtered, and selected based on various types of data as, for instance, gene expression values from the Cancer Genome Atlas. In the third step, the analyst can obtain detailed information for the selected entities. We demonstrate Ordino using an analysis session carried out by a research scientist working in a drug discovery team at a pharmaceutical company. The analyst wants to identify the most relevant amplified genes in the breast cancer cell line HCC1954. Based on these results, he then wants to study a larger set of breast cancer cell lines. The analyst can either start by manually entering a list of identifiers, by selecting a previously saved or predefined list of terms, or by uploading a comma-separated file. In our case study, the analyst selects the list of human protein coding genes, which results in a ranking of more than 20,000 genes. Since the analyst is particularly interested in the most highly amplified genes in HCC1954, he adds a single cell line score with the copy number values for this cell line. The score is added as an additional column to the ranking. Sorting the gene list by the copy number values shows the highest amplification is located on chromosome 17 and affects about 15 genes. If needed, the analyst can filter the data interactively using the histograms in the side panel. To find out which of these genes is most relevant, he adds two additional score columns to the ranking. The first column shows the expression, a measure of activity, of all genes in HCC1954. The second column shows a gene sensitivity score, indicating how important a certain gene is for the survival of the cell line. Since small values represent high sensitivity, the analyst inverts these scores. Based on the loaded information, the analyst identifies the gene ERBB2 as the most relevant gene of this amplicon because it has the highest expression and the lowest sensitivity score. By combining the two columns as stacked bars, this becomes even more obvious. The result leads to a follow-up question. Is ERBB2 also highly expressed and frequently amplified in other breast cancer cell lines? To investigate this, the analyst adds three score columns that aggregate data across all breast cancer cell lines. The first one shows the average expression for each gene. The second one shows the distribution of copy number values visualized as box plots. And the third shows the relative frequency of gene amplifications. The added information indicates that ERBB2 is amplified in almost 25% of all assessed breast cancer cell lines and that it is also highly expressed. In order to analyze this gene in more detail, the analyst selects it and opens a series of detailed views. The first one visualizes the correlation between copy number and expression of ERBB2. Notice that the previously shown ranking of cell lines is shrinking in width but remains open as context. This way, the analyst can rapidly alter the set of selected items. After assessing the correlation, the analyst obtains external information about the selected gene in further detail views. Afterwards, the analyst is interested in a list of breast cancer cell lines that have an ERBB2 amplification as well as a mutation in either BRCA1 or BRCA2, two genes that are highly relevant in the context of breast cancer. To achieve this, he opens the copy number detail view, which shows a list of the available cell lines together with their ERBB2 copy number. The analyst sorts the list by the copy number values and filters by the tumor type of interest. Furthermore, he adds two columns containing the mutation information for the genes BRCA1 and BRCA2. The resulting list shows that HCC1954 has the highest ERBB2 amplification among BRCA1 mutated cell lines, and that HCC1569 has the highest ERBB2 amplification among BRCA2 mutated cell lines. As the last step in this analysis, the analyst is interested in additional information about these two cell lines. Therefore, he selects them and opens the cosmic detail view, providing various information. 
he can use the drop-down menu to switch between the two selected cell lines. After finishing the interactive analysis, the analyst can persist the temporary session as private session on the server or make it publicly available. Links to public sessions can be shared with colleagues who can review or continue the analysis. In this video, we introduced Ordino, a browser-based visual data analysis tool for ranking, filtering, and exploring cancer genomics data. Thank you for watching our video.